Fight in the fish family, what is up? You guys, I just had the most insane catch of my life fishing. And the crazy thing, so I, I just pulled in right now. I just, I just pulled the boat in. I didn't film today. Oh man, I think this would have been a million views, you know, or maybe, I don't know. It could have been a viral video. I don't know. Uh, you know, sometimes I just want to fish and just enjoy my time fishing and just fun fish and not film everything I do. And I think it's important for me to do that. I know my son Leo's out. I think it's important for him to spend time with me and, you know, not worried about filming all the time. So I didn't bring my cameras today and I had the most insane catch, man. So this, I, I was fishing for bass and my son was fishing for muskie and we were out on Okachi Lake and he had several follows throughout the day and I hook in to a little bass, like a 12 inch bass. And he's like, dad, do you need the net? And I'm like, no, I don't need the net. Um, it's just, it's just a little fish, you know? And then all of a sudden my rod starts going. I'm like, dude, that, something's up here. And Leo's like, I think it's a muskie. And sure enough, a freaking muskie T-boned my bass and I'm bringing in the muskie and the bass. And at one point the muskie let it go. And I kind of just let the bass sit there and one, the muskie comes back and hits it again. And anyways, here is the clip of, of what I, I only got a little bit of it, but I guess I'll let you guys check out what I've got. Here we go. All right, what's up fighting the fish? This could be the best catch of my life. Like we just caught this muskie. I was reeling in a 12 inch bass and the muskie ate the bass. I caught the muskie, unreal. It's all right. We're Yeah, hold on, you got the video still going? Yeah, it's still going. All right, guys, look, look. Oh my God, I feel bad for this poor bass. Dude, that is what I caught that muskie on. It's Dude, I was bass fishing, Leo was muskie fishing, and I got this bass and it freaking muskie ate it. Unreal. Wow. Oh, release on the the, bass, freaking, the oh. bass freaking swam away. The bass swam away. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the most insane catch of my life. It was an amazing day. Um, props to my son, Leo, who really got me out of my comfort zone today and had me fish a lake that I, I don't really like a lot. I haven't really caught many fish there. It's a little further away from my house. And I, you know, I didn't really want to go. I wanted to kind of go back to all the lakes that I'm very familiar with. And he, he was like, dad, we got to do something different. We, we got to go do something different. So we wanted to go to Okachi Lake. So uh, I didn't want to do it, but he talked me into it and it ended up being an awesome day. We caught a lot of little bass, um, several musky follows and plus that epic catch. Um, but speaking of lakes that I'm familiar with, in this video, we are actually heading out to my hometown lake, Beaver Dam. And um, let's check it out, guys. Here we go. Off to Beaver Dam Lake. Not a two incher either. That's a good fish, Fred. Well, that's a good start for the first day. First fish, it didn't take long. Good start for the day, huh? Yeah, you said right when there's that, that culvert, you got one right away, huh? Yeah, nice. Well, guys, we are out on Beaver Dam Lake for the rematch. My son Leo and I and Fred, we were out here a few weeks ago, and that is the day that um, my boat almost sank. And so we had to cut our trip early. So today we've got the day to spend to try to have our rematch out here. So let's get it done. First fish, nice work, Fred. Oh yeah, did that. All right guys, so strategy number one, we're just gonna hit a few of these islands and just throw crankbaits and spinnerbaits and jigs or whatever into these islands. There's usually some fish sitting up there. So if you come out to Beaver Dam Lake, be careful for the rock piles. There's a ton of rocks, but these islands usually will hold some fish. No, that was out a little ways. The rocks come out a little ways in there. Yeah. Like you said, the old river channel is on this side. Yep. So, so, I mean, this feels like a good fish. Wait, where is it? Over here? My fish is over. Oh. River channel? This was my okay. second cast onto this island. It feels good. 
It's probably a carp. Oh, it's a big bass, you guys. Is that a, is that a bass? It should be. Catfish. It's a catfish. <laughs> it's a catfish. Oh, come on. Oh, it's a catfish. Oh, man. I thought it felt big. Look at that. Duh. Catfish. That, man, I, I've done tournaments out here where it's like, oh, there's a, it's a big bass, and it's, it's always a catfish. It's all right. Let's take a look there. You're getting a little close to uh, You come out to Beaver Dam Lake, there is rocks everywhere. This lake is a prop destroyer. I got the muskie net along just in case of a muskie, but also help us get all these rocks. Rocks everywhere. I think we're clear. I've, see, man, I've already had to get out of the boat and, and stand in the water and push before. Hopefully we don't have to do that today. All right. Well, guys, moving to these islands didn't really pay off for us. There has been times where fish have been loaded on these islands for us here. Um, Beaver Dam has, it's just a crazy lake. It's like fishing another world over here. There's like all these 100 pelicans over here. And we saw giant turtles and it's just like, it's like, it's so weird fishing back here. Like, I'm, I bet you this rarely gets fished. Well, there has been times that we've caught a lot of fish in here, but today they're just not on the spot. And so we've got to make a move. We don't have a lot of time to fish today, only a few hours. So we're on the south side of the lake. We're going to make a really far move way up to the north end of the lake where there's some springs and some current and things like that. See if we can get a couple more fish in the boat. Nice, Fred. Need a hand with them? Nah. There you go. You just flip them out. We both flip them. Fred, that's two. Nice work, buddy. Nice job. Not too shabby, huh? Good work, man. All right. I... That's a giant, that's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> Want me to get him in the net for you? Uh, I think I was, okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You want a pliers? Yeah, I don't. I mean, you didn't. Not? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm just putting it back. Alright, hold on. Well, let me get a close up of you putting it back at least. I can hold the net up for him. Alright. Man, I'm just gonna hold him up real quick. There we go. <laughs> Little. There we go. Smashed it. Okay. okay hold on. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Definitely not the giant I wanted, but I got one. <laughs> I'll get him back in the water right away. Pike or musky? Uh, yeah, can you get your rod out? Yeah, sorry. Walk back there. Oh, that was a good release. Yeah. All right, fighting the fish with that. We have to call it a day. It was awesome fishing Beaver Dam Lake today. I think we can count that big pike as a catch. But because we didn't want to take it off the hook anyways yeah, I, so we're good so all right you guys so that's beaver dam lake for you that's kind of a typical average day on beaver dam lake unless you're fishing for catfish then you're just going to catch a ton of them and uh that's it guys thanks for subscribing and liking the videos and we'll catch you guys next time on F -f 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 fighting the fish Fighting the fish!